Welcome to our channel, Science in a Nutshell, for juniors 4, 5 and 6. Adaptation and survival in animals. When the weather is cold, we always do some changes to adapt to the cold weather, like wearing heavy clothes, drinking hot cocoa, or sit next to the fireplace, so we can feel warm and happy. While in summer, when the weather is hot, we do some other changes like wearing light clothes, drinking lots of water, or maybe find shaded place to keep us away from hot sun. Do you know that animals do just like us? They change to adapt to their environment, and this is to survive and to reproduce. The main reason they are trying to change is to survive and the meaning of the word survive is to stay alive and to reproduce which means to have babies of their own. So we have two types of adaptation. The first one is structural adaptation which means a change in the body of the animal to adapt to its environment. While the behavioral adaptation, which is the second type, is a change in the behaviors of the animal and also to adapt to its environment. So we have structural adaptation and we call it, we can call it physical adaptation. And the other one is behavioral adaptation. understand different types of adaptation, we will study different types of animals and see how they adapt to their environment. white color to sneak up on its prey, blend in the snow, sneak up on the prey so it can hunt easily. They have thick fur coat to keep it warm in the very cold weather. One of the animals that also live in polar climate is the penguin. Let's know how the penguins' feet are adapted to this cold weather and they don't freeze in the cold environment. Penguins has an insulating layer of fat and thick downy feathers that trap warm air against the skin to keep its body warm in the freezing cold. Although the penguins' feet have no feathers, no fat, it can stand around on the ice all day. This happens due to the way of movement of blood in blood vessels through the penguin's feet. Blood vessels bring cold blood from their feet up to their body, 
other blood vessels bring warm blood down to the feet from the feather-coated body. The warm blood vessels weave around the cold blood vessels. When they meet, the warm blood vessels heat up the cold blood vessels so the heat transfers to the penguin's feet. We now know all the animals that live in polar region, how they adapt to the polar climate. But have you ever thought about animals in the desert and how they face the extreme hot weather of the desert? Well, let's see some examples for the animals. We have the fennec fox. The fennec fox has tan colored coat, tan colored coat, or we can say sandy colored fur. This means that its color is just like the sand or its environment. So, this provides it camouflage to hide and sneak up on its prey or to hide from the enemies and also to protect it from the hot sun. And it has extra large ears. The extra large ears of the fennec fox is to lose heat to cool its body. And the special shape of its ears allow excellent hearing to help fennec fox hunt. These are all structural adaptation structural adaptation or we can call it physical adaptation the behavioral adaptation that they do is to pant like dogs they pant like dogs to cool their body in hot summer and they also live in bears just like the arctic fox does and it eats different types of food this is because the food is rare in the desert, so it can eat anything around it. Another animal that also live in the desert will be lizards. Lizards are from reptiles. Some of them live in desert places, like steered agama lizard, lives in very hot desert, it will try to find shaded places to protect it from hot sun. So as you can see now, animals in desert will be having similar types of structural adaptation to adapt to their environment in order to survive and to reproduce. So they may have a sandy color, which is to camouflage and to blend in with the sand color, so they can sneak up on their uh, prey or they can just hide from their enemies and they may have the ability to store food and water due to the lake of food and water just like the camel they can eat different types of food and it's also because of the lake of food in the desert just like the fennec fox they can dig bears to protect it from the sun or to protect it from wind they always try to find shaded places in order to hide from the sun and some of them will have long ears to keep it cool and to give them also excellent hearing like the fennec fox.